resolution. Uh, if I could just say that when I went to the county government building to pay my personal property taxes, they only had the brochure in Spanish. <laughs> Okay, um, so keeping that in mind, I'd, I'd just like to say one really quick thing in Spanish. Um, quiero decir a todos afuera que los niños son muy, um, muy bonitos y um, que lo siento por todo que está pasando aquí. But I just wanted to say that the children outside are beautiful. Okay, I was out there today and walking, you know, through the Hispanic crowd, and let me tell you, the kids are afraid. <laughs> they don't know which side I'm on. <laughs> okay, they're looking, you know, they're looking, you know, for some type of cue as to, you know, if I'm friendly or, or, or on the friendly side or the unfriendly side. And, you know, I just think that this resolution's just brought a great amount of fear to the community, and I think that the, <laughs> the reason why it's happened, uh, if... I may say that the county conducted a citizen survey between May and July where they rated uh, the concern about illegal immigration at 3%. <laughs> what's, what's happened between in May, June, and July and today? I think we've got uh, a blogger that is driving county politics. He's concerned that his neighbors that play loud salsa music are illegals when in fact they're Puerto Ricans. Okay, you've got them at every event from here to kingdom come showing pictures of rats. Okay, saying you got to sign up to help save Manassas. Okay, child's mentality. My kids came away and said, Mom, why don't we want to help save Manassas? <laughs> you know, I mean, you got to think this thing through, folks. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's multifaceted. It's not, uh, you know, black and white. And, you know, I would just hope that, you know, a single blogger is not able to drive Prince William County politics and the politics of the state of Virginia. Because that's what I see happening outside with John Stirrup's assistants, you know, uh, cozying up to, to Greg, <laughs> to Mr. Latisse, and Bob Marshall. And, you know, I just don't see this as you know, being a political gain for the Republican Party. I'm compassionate conservative, and this, is, in my mind, is the wrong direction for the Republican Party. 20 years, I've never cast a, a vote for a Democrat. Okay, this is going to be the year. <laughs> and it pains me to say that. You know, I'm pro-life, and I don't understand how this board can be uh, Christian and think about sending children to third world countries Thank where you, they Ms. don't Alina. belong. Next speaker, please.